Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a review slash first impressions on the Better Skin by Maybelline concealer. Now this concealer isn't like brand new. I know it's been out for quite some time, but I just came around to it and I actually received some recommendations from you guys to try it out. And you guys know that I'm a huge concealer hoarder, like I love concealers. So I'm down to try any type of concealers that you guys may recommend. And I've heard that this is pretty comparable to the Urban Decay Concealer. Now it says that it's a concealer that targets dark spots, imperfections. Right now I don't have any concealer on, but I do have foundation and I did my brows. So for foundation today I'm using the Clinique Beyond Perfecting 2-in-1 and the reason I'm using this one is because I like how it's not so thick, but it does a really good job of covering everything up. I figured that this concealer will look great with it. I picked up the color Light Medium 30. So we shall see how this works. Now this one has 0.25 ounces. So you can see right there, it's definitely very portable friendly, like you can carry this on the go. It has a doe foot applicator, so you already know that this is like the dream for a lot of people. I love these type of applicators. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is just test it out. So I'm gonna start off with this eye. I'm going to be taking and applying it in upward motions. I feel like this way, I definitely get the most coverage on my under eyes. Now, if you're somebody who is really, really into the whole full coverage concealer, you have some really, really dark circles beneath the eyes, I would totally recommend applying the product this way because then you really, really disperse that product out. And not only that, it also helps the product not just stay in this area. Sometimes we do tend to go a little bit lighter than the color of our foundations. And we definitely want the product to be as dispersed out and blended out with everything else as possible. So it's not just like a little part right here of white and then everything else is like the color of your skin. So I'm going to go ahead and blend it out back and forth and blending it out back and forth definitely helps the creasing. It makes sure that it contradicts what the under eyes may want to do. Okay, so I must say that right away I noticed that it really blended out super, super well right away. The product isn't thick, it's more of a nice liquid consistency, so I'm seeing that with that aspect of it, it definitely does remind me of the Urban Decay um, Naked Skin Concealer that I was obsessed with for a long, long time. I feel like those consistencies tend to work best with a lot of types of skin types just because it's not just grasping on the skin. Like I really can't deal with something that is so thick. What I recommend is that if you have a really flawless canvas, like you do not have discoloration or your skin is pretty evened out, then I definitely wouldn't recommend you going after a thick coverage foundation. But if your under eyes are really dark, then I would definitely say go with a thicker consistency concealer. Now the only thing with a thicker consistency concealer is the fact that it tends to really, really get in those fine lines and crease right away. So always set that. But if you have something that's a lighter consistency, it tends to not crease as much. So right now I'm giving it a minute because I want to see if it will start creasing right away because some concealers crease right away and some other ones don't. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to apply it on this eye. And I'm a huge fan of the Maybelline concealers. I have the Fit Me concealer and I also have the other one. I think it's the Masters concealer and I literally love both of them so much. Last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to slightly highlight my face with this concealer because I am going to be finishing off the rest of my foundation and then coming back in a little bit and telling you guys how this concealer is wearing. So I'm on my nose. Some of you guys who may be beginners to makeup and are wondering why I'm highlighting these areas of my skin, because these are the areas that I want to bring attention. So usually it's always that midsection of the face and of course your under eyes where you want to brighten up because that's what you want to come out. Everything else you're carving in so that it looks more defined and shaped. And sometimes people ask, why are you highlighting your nose? Like let's say if you have a big nose or a wide nose, like myself, I have a pretty wide nose. Why are you highlighting it? Because when I go in and contour, I'm going to be narrowing the sides, but I'm going to be keeping the midsection highlighted because that's what I want to pop. That's what I want to bring out. So the reason I'm actually doing this for this video is because I want to see how it's going to blend with this foundation. 
So far, so good. I think one of the reasons why this concealer is blending out so well is because it's so lightweight that it's not thick, it's not clinging onto the skin, it's just very natural. And I mean, it is called a better skin, so I would expect it to be more on the natural side. At those areas of my skin, it brightened them up right away. So you can definitely see that it's not clinging onto my skin. I'm actually really impressed because a lot of concealers tend to do so, which is why I like to personally avoid highlighting certain areas because I'm like, it's not even worth it. So what I did notice as it starts to set longer is that this concealer right here is creasing just a little bit. So now I'm going to follow my typical routine. It is a first impression, but I'm going to be wearing this concealer with my setting powder anyway, so I'm just going to use it that way because I've noticed that with some products, even when you set them, they still just look gross. Another reason why under eyes can crease a lot is because sometimes your under eyes can produce oil, so that oil can make that foundation kind of crack and slip around, especially with the talc powder, because I feel like that talc just helps it lock it in and stay in there, especially, you know, whether you're oily or whether you're sweating or, you know, you're gonna be outside or any type of, you know, activity where you know it's gonna produce oils, that's definitely where you want to set it to prevent it from creasing. That's why I always like to just set my concealer no matter what. If you're somebody that has dry skin, I would not recommend you using something like the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder because it does have talc in it and we all know that talc tends to dry the skin. So unless you're very, very oily or you personally do like the way that this just locks everything in, then I would say get it. Oh, perfect. I just dropped this whole Laura Mercier powder. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to finish the rest of my face and then I'm going to come back and let you guys know my final thoughts on this concealer. So I'll be right back. I have worn this concealer for a good hour now after applying it and it blended out well. I actually went and just kind of finished bronzing up, blush, highlight, just the basics, lipstick of course. And I really, really like how it worked with the rest of my face. I feel like it's a really, really good buy. I would totally recommend it. I think it's worth it. Um, this one they do have at Target, Walmart, Ulta, CVS, any drugstore that you can think of, they carry this product. I do think it's pretty comparable to the Urban Decay one after using it and after seeing how it sets in the skin. I think it's extremely comparable. So if you do not want to spend the $28, then go ahead and dupe it with this one. I feel like it being oil-free really helps kind of keep my concealer in place and not budge, especially if you have oily skin, you do not want a concealer that has oil in it because then it's gonna be sliding. And like I said earlier, it's going to set in those fine lines and just crease. I feel like I'm going to be using it all the time. So I would definitely recommend picking this up in the drugstore and I hope that you guys really enjoyed watching this little demo first impressions videos and if you want to see any other first impression videos or worth it or not on drugstore products then please go ahead and thumbs up this video and let me know in the comment section down below what you guys want to see next I have some really really good videos coming up but of course if you guys want to see something in particular I will bump that right off and put what you guys want to see and also, don't forget to subscribe if you're new to my channel. Become a member of our little growing beauty family right here because we all love interacting with each other and discussing all things beauty. So don't forget to subscribe. I will be seeing you guys very soon for a brand new video. Bye, guys.